videos you might see the same hair and makeup just because I'm on a time crunch. I don't have all the time in the world to film. So today's video is going to be declutters. So I'm going to break up all of my declutters in groups, I think. So I'm gonna do like a palette declutter, a lip declutter, lip gloss declutter probably, uh, just things like that. So stay tuned. There's probably going to be a lot. I think my first 2023 declutter is only going to have this intro and then the rest I'm going to kind of just dive right in and get to talking about the rest of the parts for the 2020, 2023 declutters. So let's dive on in and get started. Okay, you guys. So this video, if you can see in this corner, this is my like lipstick tower minus my one lip gloss that's in my project pan. Um, but yeah, this is my lipstick tower. I love this tower. It's one of my favorite pieces of my collection. Um, if you want the actual casing, I'll link it for you. I got it off Amazon, but this used to be more organized. <laughs> it's hard to like see it just from the angle of my camera and everything, but it used to be like all more affordable lip products, lipsticks on this side. And then this side was all luxury. And then this top part right here on the top, this housed like all of these really weird wonky longer lipsticks. You can see how much longer they are and they just don't like, they stick out and I'm, I don't know, I just like them more on top because they fit better on top here. So I have all these super long sticks on top here. I have like some old stuff on top, etc. But this thing is totally full and this is everything that's left that doesn't fit up there. Now, this is going to be my lipstick declutter. These are all my stick formula lip products. So things can be really sheer or like lip balms. I just threw my lip, like my lip chapstick sticks in here too, just to have them in here, see if anything actually did need decluttered. But I am gonna go through this. Um, I think I'm gonna do it in sections. So I'll probably do like my balms, if I have more than just like two, like balms and sheer colored balms. And then I'll probably go in like color order so this might be split up into a few videos i haven't quite decided yet but this is the beginning of it i'm hoping to do like a video for my nude lipsticks and then a video for my brights lipsticks and then a video for my red lipsticks so that's my thought process hopefully it's obtainable um yeah let's just get into it i'm gonna pull everything off of this and i'll probably end up organizing it off camera just so I'm not running film and then we'll come back. So let me dive into it. Okay, so this is generally speaking, all of the lipsticks that I collected. Again, I'll kind of show you this laying on its side. This is the like the lipstick tower I have. It holds quite a few and then the top has its own like little compartments for each stuff. I love this thing. It's on a swivel base so it spins really nicely. Um, I just keep it on my desk. I love it. I like looking at it every day but yeah I'll leave it linked if you guys are interested in like what it is. Um, yeah let me count and then I'll start sorting. So there's 111 here. There's a lot off camera, but I counted 111 stick lip products. So that's like stick balms, sheer stick balms, sheer stick lipsticks, full pigment lipsticks, classic lipsticks, shiny lip balm oil sticks. Like that's what I got. So let me separate it and then we'll go from there. Okay, so there's... 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, like, sheer balm stick lip products. So, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere with the chapsticks. 
they're used all the time. I just wanted to show you that this also is in my collection. I literally pulled everything out of every purse I could find just so I can truly show you what all I have in my collection. And Chapstick has always been like a very prominent part of that collection. So, <clears throat> three Henny products. I have three Pixie products. Two Becca products, NARS, Catrice, Josie Marin, Lawless, and a speck of Scarlet. So, these types of products are my favorite because most of them are very sheer and you can wear them without makeup and then they look just fine because they are so incredibly sheer. Um, so this first one, this is the three-way solid lip oil from Deck of Scarlet. And while it looks like there is some pigment, it is a totally sheer product. There's no color to it. There is some like baby sparkles in it, but it's a clear lip oil in a solid stick form. I am keeping it. I really do love the formula of these from deck of scarlet i have two others but they're more like really solid lip colors okay i have these two from becca they are the plumping lip balms unfortunately becca is not a brand anymore and i would get rid of these if they weren't sheer this blue one totally sheer no color pigment to it whatsoever i am going to keep it this one is the shade tide this has some pigment in it but again it is so light in color you'd never really see it. So if these were totally full-fledged pigmented, I probably would get rid of them just because Becca is not a brand anymore. This is one of the lip balms from NARS. This is the shade Laguna. Again, it's like a really brown tone, but just like Tied from Becca, it really has no pigment to it. The amount of pigment in it is very minimal. I am going to keep it. This is a new one from Lawless. I really like this. It's the shade Georgie. I can't remember exactly what the product name of this is, but it's another one of those stick sheer balms. Again, virtually no pigment whatsoever. It's really comfortable. I enjoy it. Oh, this one I've had for so long. It's from Josie Marin. It is... It's the Embrace It Lip Balm product. I have it in the shade Honey. Again, this is more of like a, this is definitely more of a pigmented color, but still sheer enough that it looks fine if you use it on your own. I love this formula. I don't know why I don't use it more often. I've had it for quite a few years, but it's still, it, it's, it still smells fine. It still feels fine. It's not giving me a reaction, so I'm gonna keep it. This is from Catrice. I just got this sent to me like three months ago, maybe. This is the Hawaiian Blossom Glow Lip Balm with Hibiscus Oil. It does say it stains the skin. <laughs> okay. It's a very red product. And it applies really sheer. But I'm not sure if it gets like any darker than that. Like I don't ever notice it getting any darker than that. It does have oil in it. So it is more of that like lip oil, lip balm type of product. And it is like very comfortable. It does leave a slight stain, I would say, but nothing too intense. So I will keep this for now. We'll see. But yeah, for this, for this declutter, I am gonna keep it. All right, we got six more. Let's start with the ones from Henny. I have two of these like lip balm stick products and then they have this lip serum. I'm not a fan of this lip serum, but I don't use it that often and I feel like I really need to use it more. I just don't. So I'm gonna try and use it a little bit more. It is a more natural product, so I'm more concerned that it'll go bad fast so I do really need to like keep this on my nightstand or something just so I can get use out of it 
It's like a liquidy lip serum though. It doesn't have any pigment to it. Um, these are the, this is the Intrigue shade and then this is the Luxe Lip Balm version two, volume two. So this shade is actually really pretty, but it's way more pigmented than I expected it to be for like a lip balm. So that's the color. But while I was shocked the color was so there, it's a pretty natural looking color. So I am gonna keep it. I do like the shade, it is pretty. And then this is just one of their clear lip balms. No way. Do you guys see that? Look at that. Ew, you can see it on the side here. Oh, well that's a bummer. I was going to keep this lip balm, but it's like sporing. This, guys, is why you don't buy, like, organic products without using them fast because they go bad fast. All right. Well, I guess I have to declutter this. That kind of sucks. It's really expensive, too. So just be mindful about that. If you're buying this, please use it. It's so expensive. All right. I have three more. They're all from Pixie. So I have this peach pout shade and I, I'm actually so close to finishing this. I've subconsciously been trying to use it up. This is all I have left. Again, it's a really sheer color. You can't see anything. It's just a decent lip balm. What I use is, what I purchase is over like all the others that I have here. No. Um, I'd rather just purchase chapstick over this, but it's nice. I'm just trying to use it up. And then I have these two. Hmm. They're not showing a name to that one. Okay, I don't know what these colors are, <laughs> but this is what they look like. This one looks a lot more red. Oh yeah. Mm. all right that's much better there is nothing like no pigment on this one but that one that's a no for me I don't wear things like that if I want a color this vibrant I'm putting on a liquid lip or like a matte lipstick like I don't reach for lip balm colors like this so I'll keep the sheer one, which is this. This guy, I'm gonna get rid of him, declutter. Okay, so out of my lip balms, my sheer balms, I'm gonna get rid of two. For me, that's pretty good. I thoroughly use products like this. As you can tell, this one was almost gone. Two chapsticks will be gone within no time. And then honestly, my, my sheer Becca one is almost gone as well. So yeah, just really need to get some better use out of these. I have like a special box for products like these now and I keep them on my nightstand. So I know to like always go in that box and pick one of these out and just use it religiously. So yeah, they're gonna go back in that box. All right, next I'm going to to clutter the more vibrant colors of my collection. If you can't tell, obviously there's a theme here. Uh, I got sent the whole line of these Lime Crime Soft Touch lipsticks and they are actually a phenomenal formula. Uh, and they have some really, really cool, really interesting colors. Lime Crime always has some really neat shades. So I can't say I'm going to necessarily declutter any of the ones from Lime Crime because I do love them so much and the colors are just so different in my collection, but let's just go through this one by one. I'll swatch them out and then we can start discussing. Okay, I think I just fit all of these in frame. So I have them in order. They are all capped just so I didn't mess up the actual bullets of them, but I have them all swatched here on the side of my arm. These 
like I said, are my like fun colors. They're a little bit more different than everything else in my collection, especially once you start getting like down here. These are like really interesting. Um, but pink, purple, oranges, those aren't out of the ordinary for lip colors. I think a lot of us have shades like this in our collections, just once you start getting down here, it's like, whoa. But yeah. So I think I'm actually gonna work from the bottom to the top just because it's a little bit easier for my mind to wrap around. So this really pretty blue one. This is what it looks like. Super pretty. This is the shade Cloud Nine. I just got sent the four pack of these like vibrant new shades. So I got sent this one, this one, this one, I believe, and then this purple. And they're so much fun. They're so pretty. They're really unique in my collection. I don't have an, I can hands down say I do not have another blue lip color in my collection. So I'm definitely keeping this. This is the shade Cloud9. It is available on the Lime Crime website. I also love this packaging. I think this is so interesting. It's all cardboard and it's super cutesy. It kind of reminds me of like Lisa Frank vibes. And I just, I don't know. I just really like it. Don't mind my nail. I broke it off trying to get my son's soccer shoe on. But yeah, Cloud9 is going to stay. The next one is this really pretty green. And... It is the shade Lucky Me. It's quite fitting. And that's the color of Lucky Me. Again, a really pretty shade. I don't have any other color like this in my collection, so I'm definitely keeping it. And my goal for all of my bullet lipsticks is I want them to fit in, like over here on the side of my desk is my lipstick tower. So I want to narrow down my lipstick collection so that they all fit in that tower. That's my goal. So however many that gets me down to, we'll see. So this more like peachy shade, this is called Punked Up Peach. All right. Again, a very fitting name. That's the shade. I don't have any other color like this. It has a really white base, which I feel like a lot of people might have an issue pulling off. But again, it's so interesting in my collection. I really do want to keep it for now at least. It's so pretty this nice bright orange. This is Twin Flame. This is the new shade that they sent me. It kind of has like a squashy pumpkin orange type of color. And again, I love it. Again, it's a little bit more of a white based orange instead of that vibrant orange. Like this is way more vibrant and this just has like a little bit more white added to it. And it's a little different. It's more unique. This one is Retro Sunrise. This was from the original launch of this product again it's so pretty i love these unique shades i'm really loving orange shades in general too i'm keeping it they're not going anywhere this is where it's getting tricky when i swatched these three out these three are the purples one two three i did not realize how similar they actually are so this one is my Smashbox one. It's like one of those tri lipsticks, triple tone lipsticks in their Be Legendary line. This is Berry Ombre. And if you look, it's kind of hard to see right now, but it has like three different colors. And then when you slide them on, it can give you like an ombre effect. But this is kind of what the color looks like when I have them all blended together. So depending on how dark you want it, it's gonna look like this. And depending on how light you want it to get, it's gonna look like this. They This looks so similar to both of these. And it's getting quite old. I don't even know if this Smashbox lipstick is even made anymore. And I think for that, it was quite tuggy too when I like tried to swatch it. It had a really hard time swatching. So I think I'm going to let this one go finally. And then I'll just show you this next purple one. It is Disco Down. This one is the original purple that came out in the first launch of these. Again, super pretty. You can tell it looks so similar. I also love this formula. It's like a soft matte formula. They call it the soft touch formula. Again, it's a really fitting name. It describes the, pack, the formula really well. And then this is the newest purple I just got sent. It's called Drive-In just a bit a slightly deeper shade 
actually when I was swatching it out, the bullet looks way darker than the actual swatch. So that was quite interesting, but I, I am going to keep it. I can't help it. All right, we're left with a few more. So this next one is like one of the darker tones in my collection. And it's just very browned out, grayed out purple. And it's the shade Dusty Mauve from the Matte Lipstick line from ABH. I'm not quite sure if they still make this line. I actually did really love this formula when it first came out. It was one of the, it was one of the more like transfer proof matte classic bullet lipstick shades and for that I really did enjoy it. This is getting quite old though and while I don't necessarily reach for these more like gothica style grungy style tones I don't really reach for them anymore but I will say I do still really really love them. I'm not sure quite yet what I want to do with this color. I'm going to put it off to the side as a maybe until I get through some more lipsticks. All right, next one is this kind of like ready pink one. This is a little bit more of an, a red than I would consider it a pink, more like a raspberry berry tone. This is the shade Fine Thank You from the Epic Kiss Nourishing Vegan Butter Lipsticks. These are one of those glossier like lip shine lipstick formulas and it is really pretty. I think I would like this formula more if it was a more natural like more of a nude color than this like punchy red type of color. Um, again I I think I'm gonna put it in the maybe section. I'm gonna put it in the maybe and then kind of go from there. All right, these last three. When I swatched these three out again, I was surprised at what they looked more alike. If that makes sense, like this Marc Jacobs one is this top one and I thought it was gonna be the exact shade dupe to this soft touch pink shade, but it's actually way more similar to the bottom one. So this bottom one is Funky Fusion Just a really pretty like raspberry tone, like hot, hot pink raspberry shade. And I love these shades. I have a shade similar to this and like a liquid lipstick. And it's one of my favorite lip liquid lipstick colors to wear. I go through it so fast. Um, so I definitely want to keep this shade just because it is like my preference for like pinks to wear. I like those raspberry leaning pinks versus like not like nude pinks like hot pinks I like but like nude pinks or like mid-tone pinks are not really my favorite anymore but this is that like hot pink one there this is the shade fuchsia flare it's definitely got some flair to it she is really vibrant and honestly really really pretty again it's one of those colors that you can't help but love. They are really nice. So again, I'm gonna keep this. I didn't think I was gonna get rid of any of the Lime Crime Soft Touch lipsticks just because I do really enjoy the formula, the color selections, even the packaging. It's all around really phenomenal and it's more affordable than other brands. So I'm definitely keeping these for sure. Last one, this is from Marc Jacobs. They do not make Marc Jacobs anymore. This is the Lemark Liquid Lip Crayon in the shade Flaming O. Like Flamingo, but Flaming O. Uh, again, this is such a good formula. One of those like transfer resistant products, but it's in a lip crayon formula. And it's quite interesting, this formula, because it feels really wet when you apply it. And it's so soft, like very, very soft. But it just looks so good on the lips. I'm kind of questioning it just because it is so old. 
I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe category as well, also just because it is so similar to this pink here. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe category and try and go from there. So, so far out of all my vibrant lipstick colors, I'm only decluttering one for sure so far. So let's get into the next color wave. These are all of my like natural, like classic reds that you'll see. I didn't realize I had this many. I have a lot. I also am going to do my deep reds. I'm starting to get like over on this end more of like the darker reds, but then I have really deep like burgundy reds too. I just didn't have the space to put them up here. So they'll be like in the next loop that you'll see. So let me swatch these all out and then we'll get into it. It's not as bad as I thought. You look at all these reds and they're, you're like, they actually kind of look different from each other and they do like I look at them and I see more blue in some and I see more orange in some and I see more pink in some it and I see more brown in others like it is a very weird thing reds because <laughs> the undertone can be just so drastically different but okay um I guess let's just go down the row so this top one is definitely more of a glossier looking formula than i expected but this is the new bullet lipsticks from sephora and the shade i picked up is the shade 16 i know it's more of their like orange red and it's so funny because seeing like these two specifically swatched next to all of these they look so orange but again it's kind of different than everything in my collection so i'm definitely going to keep this one i really like this color keeping it you know same with this one. It's way more orange than I expected, but if I swatch it next to my oranges, it looks red. It's just one of those, it's like, is it orange? Is it red? Orange, red. So yeah, that's the shade there, and the name is Sunset Dance. Really nice name. I'm going to keep it. Again, I've talked about my soft touch. Lime Prime lipsticks. I love this formula. It's phenomenal. It's super comfortable. I love it. Next up is this Giorgio Armani lipstick and I thought this was going to be more of a true red kind of like actually I don't even want to say kind of like this one because this one's a blue a straight up blue red like more true red in my eyes would have been like one of these two here and that's like blue red you, can you kind of see the difference between like this to this and this to this so this definitely is more like a pinker red and that's okay. It's a little bit different than everything else. I'm not really seeing anything that's similar enough. This one might be similar and this one might be the most similar to it. But they're different enough that I, I like it. It's Armani, it's really pretty. It's the Lip Power Lipstick and this one is in the shade. 507 so. so yeah that is the Armani one right here fourth and fifth one down so this is the matte version this is a satin version of both give beauty lipsticks they are definitely a blue toned red the matte one is way more uh, opaque than the satin and I personally just prefer a matte red lipstick anyways. So uh, yeah, I love it. I don't particularly like the smell. It kind of smells like buttered popcorn to me, like a mix between coconut, vanilla, and buttered popcorn. Um, so I definitely wanna keep the matte one. I don't know about the satin one yet. So I might put that off to the side. I don't, they're the same exact color. The color of both of these is Original Recipe. They're the same shade, they just have different, uh, like uh, finishes. I don't necessarily need that. So I'm gonna set it off to the side and then I'll probably come back to it later. So this one right here, this is from Makeup Forever and it to me looks more like a true red. And the color, I don't know what it is. I'm so sorry. It came in like a kit, uh, like a lipstick box and the sticker came off of it but it's one of the like more true reds in my collection it doesn't lean blue it doesn't lean pink or purple it doesn't lean orange it's just 
red, you know, and that's that one right here. So I am going to keep it. I'm also going to keep it because it's a small tube. I know I can use up something like this faster if I were trying to than if I would try to finish up like a full size. So I'm going to keep this guy. The next one is from Maybelline and I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> so that's this one. This is the Maybelline one. This is the shade red for me. It's supposed to be like that every like perfect red for anybody. That's the shade here. And honestly, it looks really similar to the Sephora one. Now, out of the two of these, this is the Sephora one, which is right here. This is the The Red. It's like the old, I bought this so many years ago. It's kind of gross. This does not need to be in my collection, but these two shades are almost identical in my eyes. So I'd much rather keep the Maybelline one because it's not nearly as old as this one from Sephora. So I I know right away I'm just going to get rid of this one from Sephora just because it's so stinking old. And the next one here, this is actually not even as red as these. It kind of has just a a hint more orange than the Makeup Forever one, and that's this one from Lime Crime. And this is the shade Radical Red. So that's this one right here. Again, it's different enough. <laughs> I say that with a grain of salt. It's different enough. These are all reds. They're all going to look virtually the same on your lips, but I like it. It is pretty. I am going to keep it. I know. Um, I don't know about this one though. I'm going to, I'm going to set it here for, for a second <laughs> while I continue. So this one down here is my YSL lipstick, and this is the shade 01 from the Rouge Couture lipstick line. This is one of my favorite lipstick formulas. It's like this beautiful, ready, glossy type of color. It's really pretty. And honestly, it is quite similar in color to the Maybelline one and the Sephora one. It just has a bit of a slightly different finish. So I can keep that. That's the same one here from YSL. This next one has a little bit more brown in it. And this is from L'Oreal. This one here, which is looks a little bit more lighter. It looks like the lightest red in my collection, almost leaning like a bricky orange. So the red one from L'Oreal is Eva's Red. I'm trying not to ruin my bullet lipsticks here. This one is from Merit. This is the shade Aperitif. This next one, which looks a little bit more deeper, this is from Giorgio Armani. And it's strange because it looks so deep in the two, but it applies a little bit lighter, but it looks virtually identical to the one from Eva's Red and me holding up both of these yeah they look almost identical this one might be just a hair more orange and brown but they look similar enough that I think I'm comfortable with parting ways with the L'Oreal one it's way older than this Valentino one that I have and I like the formula of the Valentino one a little bit more it doesn't tug as much so I can part with this one and feel okay with that. And then this last one is different from all of them in my eyes, but it's so old again. It's the Sephora lipstick. I have it in the shade Passion Red. So I'm, I'm not even going to keep this. I, I know it's so old. It's disgusting. I'm going to pass that on. The Merit one, I am going to keep it. It is brand spanking new. I got it maybe two months ago. So I'm going to keep it. I'm gonna keep it for now. So I'm really just kind of stuck on this one. I 
Okay, so I, being weird, this is the like swatch that I did of this Maybelline one next to my YSL swatch. So I'm kind of just trying to bleed them into each other and see how similar they actually look to one another. And it really is virtually identical. So that being said, my YSL one is way newer. I'm okay with getting rid of this one. So I'm gonna go get rid of it. So I'm still indecisive about one. I'm just, I'm still deciding. There was 14 here that I tested out. I'm indecisive about one. I'll come back to that one. So yeah, I'm indecisive about that one. I'm gonna keep these nine reds. Like I need to keep nine reds for whatever reason. And then I am parting with these four reds. So definitely keeping nine. I'm gonna part with these four. And this one from Give Beauty is a maybe. Okay, so next is going to be my like deeper burgundy red. So let's head over to those. I only have five really vampy stick forms of like lipsticks. It's actually super, super sheer. It works more of like a lip balm and that's essentially what it's meant for. It's the Ilia, I think it's called their Lip Balm Tinted Lip Conditioner. It's in the shade Arabian Nights. I've talked about this before that I've been having my eye on this to get it for a long time because it was the like everyday lip color that Dakota wore in the Fifty Shades of or the Fifty Shades Darker movie and her makeup always looked so good in my opinion and I loved the lip color that she wore like regularly in that in that uh, movie so that's pretty much why I bought this. I don't wear it as often as I would like to, but I do really love it. And it is a very comfortable, like very conditioning type of formula. So I am going to keep it. I do love the Ilia formula a ton. I like a lot of the Ilia products actually. I find them really like comfortable, easy to use, all that. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this. This one, I don't know. This is from Bite Beauty, and Bite isn't a company anymore, so that kind of sucks. Like, you can't go out and buy this shade. Um, this is their Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon. It's in the shade Red Velvet. It is a really pretty deep red tone, but again, it's kind of annoying to talk about products like this, especially on my Instagram, on YouTube, here, TikTok, and people love the color and you can't buy it. So this is a maybe. I'll put it in the maybe for now. I don't know what I want to do with it yet. This is NARS Train Blue. This is one of my favorite lip pencils of all time. This is actually my favorite lip pencil formula of all time. It's the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. You can still buy these. You can still buy this color. It is like ultra vampy and it's super matte looking and I just love it. It's so impactful. It's so pretty. I have used so much of this too. Like I literally love this product so much. It truly is one of my favorites. So I'm not doing anything with this. It's staying. The next two, I was surprised when I swatched them how similar they actually are. This one is just a little bit more like creamy glossy where this is more matte. This is the soft touch color Velvet Vibes. Or sorry, Violet Vibes. Can't read. So I, again, I love these vampy colors. I don't have a ton of these in a bullet form because I much prefer them in an actual liquid lipstick formulation, but I do love that this is matte, so I'm definitely keeping it. And I think because they are so similar and this is more of a matte formula that I am okay with parting with this one from Bite. This is the shade Licorice. Again, Bite is no longer a brand, so it's kind of hard to talk about certain colors when you can't purchase them online anymore. Um, so I'm happy with getting rid of the one from Bite. So I'm keeping three for sure. For sure I'm keeping my Soft Touch from Lime Crime, my Ilia, 
and my NARS pencil. I'm still not sure about my red velvet shade from Bite and I'm definitely getting rid of the licorice shade from Bite. Um, this is a maybe, so I'll put this in the maybe pile and these I'll put away. These are my like ultra light pink toned nudes. So let's get into, into talking about it. So from top to bottom is how they're all labeled or how they're all swatched. So this top one is from e.l.f. and it is the shade cream from their Seriously Satin line. It is a really pretty lipstick, but it is just too opaque and way too light and too pink for me these days. So I do think I will be okay to get rid of this color. Next up is the Nude Balm from L'Oreal. They do not make this anymore. I think what replaced this were these lip, uh, lip shines, I think they're called. Colorish Lip Shines, yeah. So I'm pretty sure the Colorish Lip Shines is what replaced the, the Nude Balms, but they pretty much have essentially the same formula. Um, that's this one right here. It's just a really ultra sheer comfortable balmy type of stick lippy product because it's so sheer I am going to keep it I am almost done with this so I do just want to get the rest of my use out of it since you can't even buy it anymore it's just one of the last ones that I have I've purchased like three of these <laughs> just so I have it um but you can kind of tell that there's others that are pretty similar to it down here now. So let's keep talking, but I am going to keep this. All right, this is also a L'Oreal color that's right here. This is the shade 800 Ferris Nude, and it is one of, was always one of my favorite lip colors. You can tell I've really used a lot of it. It's just not quite it anymore. I used to love these pink nudes, and I just... I don't think it's there anymore. I'm not quite sure at the second if I want to keep it. So I'll, I'll wait a little bit on that. So fourth one here, it's a super opaque, more, you can kind of tell the difference between the L'Oreal one and this one, which is Maybelline Beige Babe. This has just a little bit more like yellow or orange in it that makes it lean more beige, where this just holds more pink in it. And that's the reason why I've always liked Beige Babe because it, it really is just a little bit more beige. So I am going to keep this one still. I've used quite a bit of it. Um, so yeah, keep plugging away at it. Next up down is also a Maybelline color. It's a little bit more sheer. It's the color, still part of the color sensational line, but it's more of their like satin formula. It is the shade 920 Nude Lust. And I love it. It might be slightly more yellow than the L'Oreal one, but just a really pretty finish to it as well. It's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna keep this one. The next two are so funny because they're almost identical in color right here. So it's both the L'Oreal Plump and Shine and then the Maybelline Shine Lip. The one from L'Oreal is Coconut, or sorry, the one from L'Oreal is Coconut Plump, and this one is Baddest Beige. Yes. And they are almost identical. Um, they look identical on the lips. I do love them both. I wear them quite often, so I am going to keep both of them just because they kind of get used interchangeably. This next one here is also a L'Oreal lip shine. I love this formula, I said, but I think it's just way too pink and too light for me. It just kind of looks a little bit off on my lips, so I think I'm okay with getting rid of this one. This is the shade Shining Peach. All right, next up is also, <laughs> all of these look so similar. It's kind of funny. Uh, this is from the L'Oreal line as well. It's the collection exclusive. This is the JLo shade. It's called Jennifer's Nude. It's really pretty. It's a little bit more of a sheer formula than Ferris Nude, but you can tell that they look pretty much identical other than this not being nearly as opaque. 
I might set this off to the side just like I'm doing with this one just so I can maybe swatch them later and then I'll decide if I want to keep either of them or none of them. So I'll hold off on those for a second. So the next two here are both from Lime Crime. They're my soft touch lipsticks. This first one here is the shade Stellar Pink. I've talked about this formula. I love the formula. The color is really nice. It's a little bit more orangey and less pink, but a really good nude color that I own. I love it. I'm keeping it. And then this one is Flamingo Pink. It's a little bit pinker. It's not quite what I normally wear, but if I'm ever reaching for one, I might, I might just take it up with me. Um, more pinker than I expected, but I still do like it. The second to last one here is this Valentino lipstick, and I am so shocked at how similar this color is to the Stellar Pink color from Lime Crime. They are virtually identical in my eyes, along with the formula. The formula is pretty much identical too. So this is what it looks like, and this is Stellar Pink that I'll pull up next to it so you guys can kind of see how they look next to each other. So it is kind of crazy how similar they look. But yeah, I'm gonna keep both of them for now. And lastly is this Charlotte Tilbury. I'm not exactly sure. It's the like lip balm, lip shine product. It's in the shade Pillow Talk. It is a little bit more pink and deeper than the rest of these here, but it is very sheer and it's that like glossy balm color or type of product that I love. So I am going to keep this one as well. Okay, so for this section, I'm definitely get, getting rid of two and I'm questioning two and I'm definitely keeping nine so far. All right guys, so this section is more of my pinky nudes, but my deeper pinky nudes, if that makes sense. So there's only 10 here, two, four, six, two, four, six, we have 10, yeah, there's only 10. I have them swatched out already, so here they are in order. The first one is from YSL. It's one of their uh, Rouge Crew Couture lipsticks. I just have it in the mini sizes. You guys, minis are like the best uh, option for someone like me who has a huge collection. I love minis because I know I'm not going to go through like all of my full size lipsticks ever. Like it, it the chance of it happening is so slim. Um, this shade specifically is the shade La Nu and it's one of my favorite pinky nude lipstick colors. That is it right there. I am 100% keeping it. I love it. The next one is one of my Lime Crime Soft Touch lipsticks. This is the shade Mauve Motel. I like it. <laughs> Again, I love this formula. I, I said from the very beginning, I'm probably not going to get rid of any of these soft touch lipsticks. They are still pretty new to my collection. I just want to get some love on them. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep it. Third is a super pink one. And this is the type of shade I just don't love anymore. They're like those really like mid-tone pinks and they just don't look good on me. This is the shade Magic from the KVD Studded Kiss Lipsticks. And while I love this formula, this one specifically has sparkle in it, like glitter or sparkle in it, and I'm not a fan. So because of that, I think I can get rid of this one. I, I just don't wear it anymore. But the next one down is a little bit more muted, has a little more brown in it. I've loved it for years. It's the Milani Matte Lipstick in the shade Naked. I adore it. It is one of my all-time favorites, one of my favorite drugstore nude lipsticks ever. Next is the shade Buff, and this is from the ABH Matte Lipsticks. Again, I don't know if you can buy these anymore. I don't know if they're available. I hope they are because they're not horrible. They just, they're really stiff. But if you can get past that, they have really, really good lasting power. I mean, they will last you all day. You really won't have to touch them up. And that's why I like them so much. So this color is great. I do love it. I, it's surprising to me how there's so many here in my collection that look so similar to it, but I'm going to keep it for now. 
All right, this is also one of my favorites. It looks like it has a little bit more brown. Looks similar to both of these. This one as far as like the darkness, but this one has more brown like this one does. Uh, this is also a NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is the shade Bahama. I've said how much I love these NARS lip pencils. They're phenomenal. They look fantastic. I love, love, love the formula. I would have all these colors if it were an option for me. They really are a favorite of mine, so I'm definitely keeping it. Next up is still really new to me. I'm just more disappointed because the brand doesn't exist anymore, so you can't pick this color up even though it is super pretty. It is more of a mid-tone pink color, but for whatever reason, this one looks super flattering on me. It's from Bite, and it's the shade Sugar Buns. Oh, I love it, you guys. It's such a pretty color. So I'm definitely going to keep this. Next up was one of my all-time favorites. I had it from like before I moved to North Carolina. So I had it when I lived the last time in Pennsylvania. And it's right here. It's from Urban Decay. It is the shade Bun Bun. It was part of the Chris and Leanne collection. And it just has this like really pretty brownie undertone. A little grungy. And I love it so much. It's like the, it's the comfort matte formula. And this is one of my favorite matte formulas that Urban Decay ever did. I don't know if they make this style of lipstick anymore, if they changed it since I bought it, but I know this color does not exist anymore, at least not in this name, but man, is it a good color. I'm gonna keep it, even though I know you can't get it. It's like one of my favorites just to wear anywhere, and it's still good. It doesn't taste gross, it doesn't smell bad. I'm gonna keep it, I have to, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> All right, and my last two. This one is from Bite, and this is one of their lip pencils as well. It's the Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Glace. I wouldn't say it's matte. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, to be honest. I think I'm going to set it to the side. This is going to go in the maybe pile with a couple others. And then at the very end of all of my parts of this lipstick declutter, I'll come back to all these and then we'll go through them again. So for now, I'm going to put it off to the side and it's going to be a maybe. And my last one it's from Pat McGrath. I'm not getting rid of it. It's the shade 1995. It's the matte trance lipstick collection. I know you can get this exact shade still. It is beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the soft touch formula. It's really pretty, really comfortable, easy to put on, looks great, has that soft matte look to it. It's, it's really nice. I love them. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to keep all of them, but two for sure. So I'm definitely keeping eight of them. This KVD one is going to be a maybe. Or sorry, this KVD one is a definite no. I'm getting rid of it. And then this bite pencil is going to be a maybe as well. All right, guys. So this last section of lippies are the pink nudes that are just starting to lean into being more orange and more yellow in them. So they're kind of, they're still pink, but you can definitely tell there's like an orange or a yellow base in them. Um, so I guess you could say that they're like more of a neutral tone instead of pink, but they're still pink, if that makes sense. So let's get into it. I have them all swatched here. So again, sorry, I'm freezing. It got so cold in my house the past hour. Disregard the goosebumps. Um, this first one is from Natasha Denona. It is the I Need a Rose lipstick and it's in the shade Cala. And it's a really pretty color. Again, it's one of those that's still pink, but it's starting to look a little more on the orange side of things. And I love this one. I love the packaging. I love the formula. I love the texture. 
It doesn't dry my lips out. It's a really pretty color, so I'm gonna keep it. These next two are stick, uh, stick pencil formulas. They're the Maximit Crayon Lipsticks from Lord & Berry, and I love this formula. I just hate this packaging. I, I used to have four of these and my sister actually does theater and she was looking for more of like pink toned nudes. So there was four in here and I gave her like the two pink tone colors of these. The caps don't really like stay where they're supposed to. So the tops get so squished and it's frustrating, but I do love these two colors. They're more up my alley, they're less pink in nature, which is what I prefer in a lipstick color these days. I just hate this packaging. This packaging sucks, but I, I love a pencil form of a lip product. Um, so this top shade is the shade Undressed, and then this bottom one is the shade Spicy. And they're really pretty. I like them both. I think you can find the four pack set on Lord & Berry's website. It is really pretty and then you get four like smaller pencil options so you're not wasting like a huge massive four massive full size items so it's a good option if that's something you're looking for i do think i'm going to keep both of these colors only because i d got rid of the other two so yeah this next one which surprised me of how much it looks like the next three because for whatever reason in my head i was thinking it was more like rosy pink it's this shade from Rose Ink, and it is the color name Besod Besoded, Besotted. And even when I look at it, I kept thinking this was such a much pinker color, and it's really not. It's definitely more neutral leaning. Um, I like it. I like this formula. The Rose Ink line is actually pretty nice, but I have heard some things are going bad really fast. So I'll keep it this year and see how it does holding up throughout the year, but I do like it. This next one here is one of my ABH lip colors. I've said they're really stiff, but they're very opaque and they last all day. So if you can get past the stiffness of it, I do think you'll really like these. I hope they are still available. I do like the formula and the color options they have. This color is the shade soft touch and it's just a really nice nude I mean there's not much more to say to it it's a good nude I am gonna keep it All right next up surprised me at how neutral or like how more of a nude it is than what I thought it was it's from Armani Beauty it's their lip power lipsticks and this is the shade 109 and oh gosh, it's really pretty, guys. Like, that's it right there. It's really, really nice color. I have been enjoying it quite a lot. Yeah, I'm keeping it. This is definitely something that I feel like surprised a lot of people when they tried it because it's such a very expensive luxury price point but the formula is outstanding it really is like a good classic lipstick formula and the color payoff is there the colors are perfect they have so many different options so this is definitely something if you're willing to pay for that luxury price point I think you'll like it all right this next one is from bite beauty and it's the shade chai like I stated bite is no longer a brand you can go and make your own lipsticks with them but you can't like go on Sephora and purchase Bite Beauty anymore. For that reason, and because there's so many others here that are so similar to Chai, I'm gonna get rid of Chai. I think I'm okay with getting rid of it. Next up, oh man, I love this one. It's from Revlon, it's the Super Lustrous Shine, and I have it in the shade Nude Illuminator. Let me show you how much I love this thing because it is so janky looking. I like broke it putting it on my lips so this is what like the actual thing looks like it is so glossy and creamy and comfortable it's my favorite color from this line I don't particularly like any of the other colors 
but I love this packaging and I love this color so much. So I'm definitely keeping this Revlon shade. Next up, and the reason why, this is the reason why I was so okay with getting rid of Chai from Bite. It's my Valentino lipstick. This is the Rosso Valentino Mini Rosso lipstick, matte lipstick, and it's the shade 111. And it's just like a good, like almost red leaning nude really pretty and like I said I like minis I have a much higher chance of using up a mini before I ever get a chance of using up any of the full-size lipsticks okay these are next two here this is way too mid-tone pink it's kind of like that shade magic from the KVD beauty lipstick that I had these two are from Kosas this one is the shade rose water it's a little bit more sheer than the one below it but again, it's just a little too pink for me. And I think because of that, I am okay with getting rid of this. I just never, ever reach for it. And I think I'm going to honestly declutter the one from Kosas as well. The shade Undone. While it is more opaque and it is a really pretty, almost, almost neutral semi-nude shade it's just too ready pink for me so I'm gonna get rid of it there's just not enough like brown in that color for me so I'm gonna get rid of this one too and this is the shade undone all right and this last one is NARS again this one looks so similar to Chai from the Bite Beauty this is the shade Talid just a really pretty, more neutral, nude, mid-toned, nude, neutral lipstick color. I'm going to keep it. Again, it's a little mini. I like the minis. It's better for my collection. So, yeah. I am going to declutter three. keeping nine and getting rid of three of them. These are more of my like grungy, darker nudes. They could be more gray, more brown. So I did swatch them all and you can kind of see the color starting to change a bit. So it's going from like more purpley to a little bit more gray and then tone to like a brown tone down here. Um, yeah. This is part four of my lipstick declutter. Let's hop right into it and just get started. So this first one is from Bite Beauty. Again, Bite Beauty is no longer a brand. This is part of their like horoscope collection, I believe. Uh, this is the shade Cancer. I love this color, but the second I swatched it, it smelled horrible. So it's gone rancid. I have to throw this out. It smells really, really, really bad. So unfortunately, I'm getting rid of it. But this color, the second color, and even this third one, they look similar enough to this Cancer color from Bite that I don't feel as bad. Um, this is the Marc Jacobs, uh, what is it called? It is the Lamarck Liquid Lip Crayon. This is the shade Send Nudes. It's just more of like a purpley mauve, gray, deeper nude tone. I love it. I love this formula. I am going to keep this one, especially because I didn't know if I was going to keep the pink one. So I definitely am going to keep this one. And I don't know if they make these tart lipsticks anymore, but they are really nice if you find a color you enjoy. This is the shade Salt Life. It's a little bit more of a pinky mauve nude. Um, I love it. I love this formula. It still smells okay. I know I've had it for a while, but again, it doesn't smell bad, so I think I'm okay with keeping it still, and I do love it. I still use it quite often, and the packaging is so pretty. I love the, like, oceany marble type of packaging. It's really neat. This, too, this is the shade from Maybelline. It's their bold line. This is the shade gray over it. This is, like, a really deep brownie gray, and I really like it. 
it still smells fine. It still swatches fine. I actually just wore this the other day and I do love it. It looks more brown than what I remember it and I've really in been enjoying like deeper brown colors. So I am definitely going to keep this one. And the second one is like a cult favorite of mine. It's called Gone Grage and that's exact exactly what it is. It's a grayed out beige. I've had this for years. I love this color. I think it's so pretty. I'm definitely keeping it. I am. I, c I can't help myself. I love it. And it's so affordable too. All right, this next one is so pretty. I love it so much. It's from L'Oreal. It is the Mattitude shade. Oh, it's a, it's a matte, comfortable matte, easy to apply, drugstore, affordable lipstick. And it's phenomenal. I love it so much. So I am keeping this. And the next one down is so similar. It looks like the glossy version of Mattitude. This is the color Shine, and this is the shade Dazzling Doe. It's so pretty. I love it. I literally wear this one all of the time. I love it so much. These next two are pretty new to me still, and they're like totally me shades. They're that enough brown, enough gray in it, enough yellow. I just love them. This first one is a little deeper. It's the shade 1990. It is just a good lipstick. These are a little bit more like waxier and a bit sheer. So you do have to build up to get like the good color payoff. But I kind of like that. And then this lighter shade here is the shade Slip. They're just so pretty. I really love it. So definitely keeping those. This one is from ABH. It is the shade Latte. And it is a slightly redder version of a brown. But I love it. And I do wear it quite often. You can tell the lip slant of it is pretty flattened now. And it's because I wear it quite a lot. I am going to keep it for now. Again, I don't know if you can still buy this lipstick. I hope you can because they are decent. Next up is these solid lip oils from Deck of Scarlet. These are so good. I wear these all the time. I literally wore these all the time last year. They're really similar in a formula to the Colorish Shines from L'Oreal. They have that same glossy balm type of texture. I love it. This deeper shade is Cocoa. Cocoa Spice, excuse me. This is Cocoa Spice, so I'm keeping Cocoa Spice. This is Il Maquillage, this really pretty yellowy brown lipstick. I'm always looking for shades like this, and this is such a fan fave of mine. This shade from Il Maquillage is the shade Cami, and it's from their Dirty Talk Matte Lip Color line. Oh, you guys, this color is phenomenal. I freaking love it. It looks like the wood color on my desk <laughs> but I love it so 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 much so I'm 100% keeping that one there's no doubt about it and then next up it's a little bit more of a darker brown than this one this one definitely has more ready darker brown and this one's more of like a yelly yellowy brown this is the Maybelline ultimate ultimate lipstick and what shade is this? More Truffle. Again, I really love it. I was on a hunt for these types of shades, like these more everyday brown tones, and I love both of them. So definitely keeping it. And this last one, again, is another Deck of Scarlet Solid Lip Oil. This last one is in the shade Nude Ambition. It's really pretty. I love both of these so much. I love the formula. It's comfortable. The colors are beautiful. Definitely, definitely keeping it. So I knew this would be kind of <laughs> the section where I wouldn't really be getting rid of anything. And I'm not necessarily trying to get rid of a lot. I just want to show you what I have, swatch it all out, talk about it, and then get rid of excess that I know I'm not going to use. So 
I'm only get rid getting rid of one. Sorry for everyone who wants to see me do like a nasty declutter. I'm not doing that. So I'm keeping 13 and I got rid of one shade. So let me put these away and then we'll go on to the next part. All right, guys, I can't fit them, putting them perfectly straight down ways, but these are probably my favorite colored nudes. They're very yellow leaning nudes. Some of them are very orange leaning and that's okay. Those are my, my favorite. So I can't say I'm really going to declutter anything out of here, but I did swatch everything so you guys could see. Um, so let's just talk about them one by one again. So you can clearly see there is a lot of orange and yellow in a lot of these lipsticks. That is my preference, <laughs> like I've stated. This top one, unfortunately you can't get anymore, but it's one of my favorite colors. It's from Becca. It's the shade Dune, and it's like one of my first peachy orange nudes. And it, this is the color that got me hooked to try and find the rest of these. So I love it. For now, I'm keeping it even though you can't get this. Like, it's not a brand you can buy anymore, unfortunately. All right, next one down was actually probably was supposed to go in my, like, more grungy section of things, but it got snuck in here. That's okay. I still really love it. It's one of the most affordable lip products in my collection. It's from Essence. It's part of their, like, This Is Nude collection, and I have it in the shade 05 Le Legendary. It's a little bit more grungy. Um, but still has that really pretty brownie nude aspect that I love from lip colors like this. So 100% I'm keeping it. I love my affordable lipsticks. Third one down is probably my most recent like yellowy orange lipstick that I purchased that I can think of. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. Ah, It's so pretty. It kind of looks like a like a foundation color to someone <laughs> but that's kind of why I like it it is I think it's her kissing line and this is the shade yes honey oh my gosh it's the perfect like satiny lipstick and it's the perfect color I'm obsessed with it definitely keeping this next up is a very yellowy nude and I love it so much it's a little bit deeper than the rest but this one is called full blown fawn and that's a great color name for it it definitely is like a fawn type of color tone i adore it i'm keeping it it's from l'oreal it's a very affordable color and like lipstick to purchase next one down is a little bit more yellow a little less dark than from l'oreal it's milani also one of my absolute favorite lipsticks it's probably the closest color i have to the one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Bahama Beige. Oh, I love it so much, you guys. <laughs> These two, like my, probably my top three lipsticks, I'd say, hands down. I love them so, so much. So definitely keeping. And then this super like nude color is from L'Oreal. This is the Matte Cadamia lip color. And this, it is ultra nude. If you are the fairest of fair and you want something a little bit more yellow leaning in your nudes, this is it. But this is almost too white of a base for me anymore. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. It's just too, has too much white in it for me. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. Next down is another really yellow leaning nude. It's from Jason Wu. It's the like multi-purpose stick or something like that I think it's called it's in the shade biscotti again really pretty really comfortable formula I know you can use it on your eyes lips and cheeks I just love it as a lipstick I've used it as a, a cheek product before I do like it as a cheek product but I love it as a lip color so definitely keeping Another really affordable, really pretty color is this one right here. It's from Maybelline. It is the shade Nude Embrace. If, if you like something that's affordable, that's more yellow than pink leaning as a nude, Nude Embrace is your girl. She is the best. I love it. 
it's phenomenal you guys I really really love it I use it all the time that's why it, the top is so flat all right this one down here it's one of those L'Oreal Colory Shine lipsticks I love these I've said I love the formula this color is glossy fawn again it's a great name for it it's a perfect name I love this color I'm definitely definitely keeping this This one right here, the really opaque one, this is from Patrick Ta. It's the like Patrick Ta lipstick collection, like more matte lipstick. And it's the shade Oh She's Single. Again, it's just a really yellow orange leaning nude. It really doesn't have nearly as much pink in it as like other nudes have in it. And that's why I love it so much. I have a trouble with the lighter nudes always being pink toned and I want something that's always a little bit more yellow or orange leaning. So this is definitely a vibe. These two are both from Giorgio Armani or Armani Beauty. They have more like red and pink in them, but they pull really orange. And that's why I have them here. They're still new to me. They're not my favorite colors, but I do like that they pull so oran orange. They're really, really nice colors for the fall time. And that's when I was wearing them the most. So this top one here is the shade 206. And then this bottom one here is the shade 110. Again, it's a great formula. I love the... Armani lipstick formulas in this tube. They're phenomenal. It's the Lip Power lipsticks. This one is so orange, but nude. Like I swatched all my bright oranges. Those are like vibrant oranges. This has like more desaturated levels of orange, but still orange, but it's a nude orange and I freaking love it. It's the Elf Seriously Satin line. And this is the shade Nectar. It is so so pretty. I have not found any other lipstick that compares to this color. It is so good. I love it in all the seasons. I wear it all the time. It's like the perfect pumpkin color. It's phenomenal. And it's like two or three dollars. This one's a little bit more sheer. It's more of that balmy formula. It's from YSL. It's the Rouge Volupte Shine, so it's a Shine Balm Sticks. This one is the shade 122, and it's definitely an orangey brown. And it's really pretty. It's a little bit more of like a neutral tone instead of like the pinky nudes that they all had that everyone raved about. This is more my style. It's like those burnt orange nude colors, and I like this one a lot. And lastly, again, it's like a burnt orange or like a burnt brick orange. Well, again, one of my favorite formulas. It's a soft touch lipstick from Lime Crime. This last color is the shade Vintage Spice. Again, it's a great name for it. Definitely has like a spice vibe to it for sure. So yeah, this is like my brown burnt oranges, but still nude, just a darker nude really pretty. If you had a really deep skin tone, I feel like this color would be so pretty on you. But that's everything. So out of all of these that I swatched, I'm only getting rid of one. And honestly, I'm surprised I'm getting rid of any of them. So be proud of me. I'm getting rid of the macadamia one and keeping... So let me put everything back together and see if I need to declutter anything else. Of the maybe pile, there is eight lipsticks here that I was debating whether or not I'd keep them or not. I have all of my lipsticks put in my lipstick tower. I only have two classic lipstick compartments left, so those would be the ones that would fit these type of lipsticks. And then the tops I have... I have nine slots left for the ones that I put my like tall sticks in, which is shocking because they were filled to the brim. So I swatched everything out. The top one here is from ABH. It's that dusty mauve. I am good with just decluttering this. 
it is a really pretty tone. I have tones similar to it. I don't think I'm going to miss it. Like I forgot I even had it in the maybe pile, if that makes sense. So I'm happy with just decluttering this now, I think. And same with this Bite Beauty lip crayon. Again, you can't buy Bite. I'm okay with totally getting rid of this. And that's going to be the same reason for this red velvet color from Bite, which is this one right here. Again, you can't buy Bite. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this one too. Next two are both from L'Oreal. It's both of these like nude tones right here. And they both look very, very similar. Just this one is a little bit more sheer, the Jennifer's Nude. I'm going to get rid of the L'Oreal one, the um, Ferris Nude color. I just don't gravitate to those types of light pinky nudes anymore. And I was going to keep this, but I realized how sticky this packaging is and that just proves to me that I think this is way too old for me to be keeping so I've gotten a ton of use out of it I mean I've tried to pan this and I got really close you can't even see the L'Oreal like print in it anymore that's how much I've used from it so I I think I'm okay with just letting this go it's like it's that soft touch packaging but it's all like tacky sticky now so I know it's getting old I'm happy with getting rid of this and the same with this next one here it's the satin version of the original recipe from give beauty I have the matte version I like the matte version more I'm going to get rid of this one these last two though I think I'm gonna hold on to both of these this is such a really pretty pink and it's a more transfer proof formula I love it this one from KVD beauty I just recently got this, so I want to show it some love, even though it's not really a color I gravitate towards. Um, and I have the space to keep it, so I think I'm okay with keeping these two. And then I'm going to declutter six more lipsticks. So let me put these away. I am keeping 90 lipstick formula products, whether they're sheer, whether they're balms, whether they're actual classic lipsticks I am keeping 90 yes it's a lot but remember a lot of them were legitimate lip balms they were clear formulas they were chapsticks so just be mindful of that there were 78 stick lipstick ones in my carousel there's 78 there but you add my like lip balms and stuff to it there's 90 that I'm keeping and I'm getting rid of 22 so keeping 78 getting rid of 22 and then if you add on to my lipstick 78 the amount with the balms it comes to 90 getting rid of 22 I'm pretty proud of myself it's about I don't know like a quarter of my collection gone maybe I'm not mathing right now but me getting rid of all of the things here that I didn't want, didn't need. I feel good about it. I feel good getting rid of this stuff. It just helps me focus a little bit more on the other things in my collection that I do enjoy. So I hope you liked this format. I'm thinking of doing the same thing with like blushes and stuff so you can see the colors that I have. Let me know if you like this format. Um, stick around for more declutter videos there's going to be plenty more in the future here so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later bye